Hi guys, it's Mariah. Um, a lot of you guys also asked me for my all of my Selena meet and greet stories, so I'm going to go briefly against all of them except for the one in May since I already explained that one because it's one of my favorites. Um, so the first time I had ever met her, I swear to God, I was crying so much. I mean, crying hysterically, okay? She literally was like, are you okay? And I'm like, uh. <laughs> I hate myself for it so much like I literally never want to speak of it I never want to talk about it I am ridiculous um, but I gave her my blade so I stopped self-harming I ended up uh, I stopped self-harming for a while she was really sweet about it she gave me like 16 hugs no I mean like three and it was like the most warm hugs and I remember walking out and I was sobbing she was so nice that is not all that happened but like I'm just giving you brief stories on them because um, I want to like stay touch on all of them so the next time I met her was December of 2013 and I was waiting outside after some like jingle ball thing and I just like I was like can I kiss your cheek and she was like sure and like that was it and she was like hi video so this was like a really quick one oh my God. <laughs> guys stop pushing stop pushing please oh my God, I love you. Hi, um, so then the next time I met her was at the airport and this was in April I can't tell you what the date was but this was like late April she like walks out and everybody's hoarding her and I mean like everybody is hoarding her it was so nuts I felt so bad and then I was like I'm asked Lena on Instagram because she had followed me I, I was like I'm asked Lena on Instagram and she was like oh my god yeah I know I see you every day and I'm like uh, like, I'll leave that video in here, too. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I'm Ashley now. Oh, are you from here, honey? Okay. Yeah, I'm, oh, you follow me on Instagram. Can we have a second? Oh, I look at you every day. We gotta get into the girls in class, ladies. Oh, I didn't get the picture. So then, a few days later, after she was leaving Chicago and going back to LA, or New York, I don't know where the fuck she was going, um, she was going back somewhere, back, um, uh, and um, I remember walking up and she, like, she commented on one of my Instagram photos and she was like, I wish I could have given you a hug because she didn't get to hug me. And then she, um, I saw her at the airport and I was like, Selena, can I get a hug? And she was like, yeah, of course. And like, I gave her a really big hug. And then, um, she turns to Ashley, which is her best friend. She was like, Ashley, this is the girl, Ashley, I was telling you about on Instagram. And I was like, Like, I literally didn't even fucking hear her say that until after I watched the video, and I was like, like, I literally about shit myself. Why do I say that all the time? Um, but I was literally, like, so shocked when I found that out, because I was like, um, and then we took my photo, and my photo is awful, because I cut her head off. I don't know why the fuck I did that. Um. <laughs> Selena, can we get a picture? It's me. Hi. Can I have my hug? How are you? Actually, this is the girl who runs Can I get a picture with you? Yeah. Aww. Hi. It's so nice to meet you. Did you see my post about her yesterday? No, I posted about you yesterday. Aww, you're sweet. Can I have a selfie? Oh, I love you so much. Then this is to December Jingle Ball 2000. 2015 and she was like hi babe it's so nice to see you and I'm like <laughs> she's so good to me. <laughs> she's so good to me okay this is the fucking time I almost stole her goddamn purse Ta <clears throat> okay so so I'm like can I like grab your ass for the photo and I'll like show you guys the photos and stuff you're so beautiful. And then um I kissed her cheek. And then I had like Cheetos, I bought her Cheetos for this. And cause I knew I was gonna meet her and I was really excited about it. Since I bought her Cheetos, I um, I was like, Selena, she's already taking pictures with other fans already. And I was like, Selena, I bought you Cheetos. And she's like, okay, put them in my bag. I didn't hear her say that. I thought she said, hold my bag. And I was like, what the fuck 
because she asked me this question. I don't know why the fuck she's asking me to hold her bag. Like I, I like saw her fucking phone in there, right? And I'm like, okay. So I stay. <laughs> I start grabbing the bag, mind you. I'm literally fucking grabbing the bag. And, like, I'm, like, playing tug-of-war with her. I'm not even kidding. I'm literally playing tug-of-war with her. And, like, after a few moments, she's like, no, honey, honey, honey. <laughs> Put it in the bag. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> like, I hate myself so much. Like, why did I do that? Like, why? I'm just curious. Why did I almost steal Selena's bag? And, like, I didn't even, like, obviously I wasn't going to actually steal it, but, I mean, she probably thought I was trying to steal her fucking purse. No, she just wanted to eat all the Cheetos in her bag. So, then fast forward to May. I already explained that story that's on my other video. I can link it down below if you want to watch it. Um, so... I'm gonna skip that one and then we go to June. Okay, this is a sneaking in story. Okay, so me, Christian, and Iris were all driving down to, was it Kentucky? Yeah, it was Kentucky, I think. I don't know where it was. Yeah, it was Louisville or something like that. So <clears throat> I brought my sticker from the May meet and greet because they keep the three stickers. It was green, blue, and pink. And I had a pink one. So I was like, hopefully they use pink because guess what? I'll get into the meet and greet. They used green. So I get there and we're like, oh, we gotta figure out how to get in. We were literally figuring, we're trying to figure out how to get in. And um, so <laughs> um, me, Christian, we like run into, the, me, Christian, and Iris, like we're like sitting there and like we're like looking at the radio stations. We're trying to memorize the radio station names. And so we get into the meet and greet line because we're not delusional. We know which one the meet and greet line is. And we were trying to say that we won. So we get to one of like the radio station guys and uh, we're like, yeah, we won, but we never got a sticker. Like we're seeing everybody have a sticker. <laughs> and then this, this guy was like, how do you think you won? And I was like, we called and we played, the, we did questions. And he was like, we didn't try to do it that way, sorry. And I was like, and then Christian was like, oh shit. Like, we literally thought we lost a chance. So we just kept walking in. And then we run into this guy. I feel so bad, because what if he sees it? He's never going to trust us again. <laughs> um, we run into this guy. And um, there's like actually like four or five people that still have not gotten their sticker that had won. So we walk up to this guy, all of us, and we're like, hey, so we didn't get a sticker um like we never got our sticker and we all won through like this certain radio station and then um we're like yeah us too <laughs> and so the guy like he hands out the stickers and me christian and iris are the only three that do not have stickers and he was like just follow behind us okay so, <laughs> so like we follow behind him and we literally fucking snuck the fuck in like we got in and we were so scared we were gonna see this radio guy because we didn't want him to rat ha rat us out so we're like we're sitting here like like and then we're like we're finding out that we're gonna get like our own solo photo so then we're like we walk in and we're waiting and um christian walks in first i think and then i walk in and i'm i like this was right after the christina situation happened so i was like hey i'm just wondering if you're doing all right we are concerned about you we love you and we don't want you hurting and so um she was like yeah girl i'm good i'm good it's okay and like that's literally how she talks i'm not even kidding like she's so sweet and um so that was really a lot of the conversation um so then flash forward to Chicago. Um, this was probably my longest meet and greet I've ever had with her. Um, but I'm going to go over it really briefly because I don't really want to put it all out there. Um, so I walk in and I'm like, this movie you just put out is so fucking good. And I was like, also, you're going to see me in Milwaukee because Christian had one Milwaukee meet and greets. And I was like, you're going to see me in Milwaukee. So... Uh, don't be weird about it. I'm sorry. And she was like, you're fine. Like she like literally does not care. Like she does not think we're creepy or anything. So, um, 
I like brought up about how like I feel like God has brought her to me because in my worst times she's always the one person that cheers me up and makes me feel better about myself and um I feel like she's one of the nicest people I've ever met and she was like I'm far from perfect I was like no 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 I'm not saying you're perfect what I'm saying is that you are very kind and for the fame that you have you're very good to your fans and you don't get that a lot in people um so um <laughs> And then we like, we hugged. I was literally sobbing. I'm not even kidding. And then I found out Courtney and Raquel literally recorded me and her talking. And I was literally, what the fuck? Okay. So, no, I was really excited about it. Um, so then flash forward to Milwaukee, which is the last time I've met her. And I miss her so much. Um, I remember walking in and I was like, hey, like I was so much more comfortable with her. And I was like, this is going to be the, I was like, how are you feeling? And she was like, I'm a little hot. Like, I'm not really feeling good. It's really humid because the, the thing was outside. So I was like, oh, like, I, I don't think I responded to her. I don't know what I said. And I was like, um, this is going to be the last time I see you for a while. And she was like, um, trust me, it won't be. And I was like. Like, what the fuck, you know, you're gonna leave me alone. So I'm like, I'm gonna have some emotions in myself. I don't know what the fuck I just said, okay? Um, so, so then I was like, oh, so I hear that we're having new music soon. She was like, oh, you know it. Like, I'm working on it. I was like, are we gonna get it by the end of the summer? She was like, no, not that soon. So, um, obviously we didn't get our music because she ended up getting, she was really sick. Um, but... I don't really, I was, and she told me that she'll see me soon, so I don't really remember much of that meeting greet either. I never remember what the fuck I talked to them about, but I do remember walking out and be like, this is the best meet and greet photo I've ever had. Like, I was so excited about it, but yeah. Um, so those are all of my meet and greet stories. A lot of people asked me, ooh, excuse me. A lot of people asked me for them, and I wanted to kind of briefly go over them. A lot of them are really, I don't really want to go over too much. There's a lot to the stories. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching.